Is this Suicide Squad? Oh, Suicide Squad! <gasps> Suicide Squad, yes. Oh, yes, I can't wait to see this. Yeah. It's my hero. When does this come out? Because I need it now. Ooh, scary. Terrifying. I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet. They're bad guys. Worst of the worst. Viola Davis, excellent. I feel like this is going to be a real good character for Will Smith. Yes. Hi, boys. I love her. Dead shot. Uh, shoots people. He's a crocodile. And he eats people. I want to see this so bad. You're possessed by a witch. And she's just crazy. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. The voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. This is the <laughs> so good. You're going somewhere very bad. You will not catch you. Whoa. You do something that'll get you killed. You will not catch you. This song, it just makes it that much more awesome. It's gonna save the world. I can't wait to show you my- I don't know how I feel about that. No, I'm so excited. I know it's controversial. I like that Joker. So good. I love the, like, thug Joker. <laughs> Gotta have a monster before you have a huge fight. Oh, yeah. Worst heroes ever. This song is so good. It's so good. Well, he's gonna be an awesome movie, man. Oh, baby. oh there's the bat. Yeah. Mm, freaking out, man. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys. It's what we do. <laughs> We're bad guys. It's what we do. That's right, girl. Suicide Squad. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That was good. Yes. <laughs> I've seen that so many times, but it makes me so excited every single time I see it. Looks it looks fantastic. Oh, oh. So good. So good. I can't contain myself. I had already been cosplaying as Harley when I saw the costume for this movie and this trailer and the fun colors. I just totally changed. I went from like using temporary color to like this is like semi-permanent now. So that was for DC's Suicide Squad. How did it make the movie look? Good. Interesting. There's gonna be some stuff that uh, we may not want to show to our kids. Fantastic, Great. and I hope it doesn't let me down because that's what trailers do. The shot of Joker laying down with the knives all around him. Oh, I'm dead. This is heaven. It doesn't tell you too much, but it tells you enough. And that's what you want in a trailer. It's got everything. It's got the intensity. It's got the spooky. It's got the the funny, and it's got the blow up -y. Okay, so the plot of the movie here is that the- You're gonna tell me the plot before I see the movie? Is that what you're doing right now? So the plot of the movie is that a secret government agency recruits imprisoned supervillains to execute dangerous black ops missions in exchange for amnesty for their crimes. What do you think about that plot? I think it's pretty rad. Usually the bad guy is the bad guy. Now the bad guy's the good guy, so I sort of like that plot twist. We don't really see movies like that. You can't really predict what's gonna happen. It's good for comics. I mean, in real life, probably not the best idea. They're all loose cannons in their own individual ways that kind of are used to just destroying things. But you hear Will Smith say, you know, Deadshot say like, let's go save the world. In a movie, it's a great idea. <laughs> An aspect of the movie that a lot of people are excited about is the Joker being in it. And he's being played by Jared Leto. From what you saw, do you think his portrayal of Joker is gonna be good? Yes, which she doesn't seem very excited about. <laughs> I really liked Heath Ledger as the Joker. I think it's just weird for me seeing, going to see a different, another different Joker. Heath really encapsulated the Joker. He actually like got inside. This is such a different Joker that we're seeing that I don't think it's really the same. It almost seems like two separate characters. He looks awesome. This one looks like a modern Joker. Dude, he looks twisted. From what I see, it's going to be incredible. He's a method actor, so he's done some pretty uh, questionable, maybe even inappropriate things um, to make the cast feel a little uncomfortable around him. If you sit on this subway next to that guy, 
you know something's bad. You know something bad is about to happen. And that's what I want. I want different takes on the Joker. It's rumored that Suicide Squad went through extensive reshoots after the more comedic Deadpool released a huge numbers to try to inject the movie with more humor. Suicide Squad's director denied that that was the reason. What do you think about that? Um, it scares me a little bit. That scares me a lot. I hope that they're not like going back just to try to be Deadpool because they're not Deadpool. They're Suicide Squad. It should be a dark movie. Deadpool was a awesome movie. I understand why they would want to reshoot it. You can't have a, a really intense movie without some comedy. Like, it just doesn't work. Every geek movie that comes out like, oh, the reshoots are coming. Guys, the movie's in trouble. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's standard. Something that Marvel has done really well and that DC's trying to do is universe building within their films. Meaning that multiple movies can take place in the same universe so characters from one movie can appear in another movie and be part of a larger story. What do you think about this from an audience perspective? Uh, I think it's cool, you know, that honestly I never looked at it like that. I think it's really cool because you get emotionally invested in one movie and you're like, okay, now I get to see that movie that I felt really great about in this movie. I'm super excited about it. How they react with each other and how the worlds like contrast or like come together. It's just like a really good concept. If they do it in a subtle way and it's not just a straight, hey, if you're gonna, if, if you wanna understand this movie, you're gonna have to watch these other movies. I don't like that idea. DC, uh, like I said, I'm a little worried with the approach they're taking because, uh, I mean, Batman versus Superman. Dawn of Justice was not the best. Blending the fandoms is a little weird to me sometimes, and it's a little overkill. As a fangirl, like, sure, I want to see Spidey collaborating with somebody else, but then again, I just want to see Spider-Man do his thing. Finally, out of all the movies coming out this summer, where does Suicide Squad rank on your want to see list? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, the trailer looks good, but I mean, any trailer can look so good, and then you watch the movie, and it's like, well, this is disappointing. Right now, I'm inundated with my kids wanting to see the Secret Life of Pets. Suicide Squad is on the top of my list. Top? Top, 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 beyond the top? I've just been waiting so long for, uh, one, Harley Quinn to be on the big screen, and two, it's just finally DC's giving us something. That's like topping my list right now, I gotta say. I'm excited about it, it looks awesome. Suicide Squad is my number one. I wanna see it immediately. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Like what you saw? Then hit that subscribe button, you jokers. Let us know in the comments what trailer we should react to next. Bye, put in. <laughs>